I have a story to tell you guys, and this one's gonna jump around a little bit because, all right, let's just get to the question and the answer first. And this question has come to my channel many times in all different shapes and forms, but let's just break it down simple. What are you gonna do if you're injured and you can't move? You can't live in a van if you're injured and can't move. What are you gonna do? Let me tell you. I've been injured for the last seven days. You got it. I injured myself last Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. and I've been crawling on my hands and knees for a majority of that week. And today has been the first day I've actually been really quite mobile. Yesterday was okay, I got to stand up. I wasn't standing right upright, but at least I got to move around. My feet were walking little baby steps here and there. I hurt my back Tuesday morning. So I can tell you an answer to this question by full truth that living in a van with an injury is way more convenient than living in an apartment, a condo, or whatever. Because when you need things, you are only like a short distance. There's my bed, there's my vehicle. That's my distance I have to move just to go get things, just to go do things. So living in your van is gonna be way more convenient, a lot less stress on the body, because you won't have to move as much to get to the convenient things that you need. Remember, I know in our area, we have pharmacies with drive-throughs. You could order your groceries online and pick it up at the grocery store, and they will even put it in your vehicle. There's a lot more convenient things that can happen living in a van that you couldn't do living in your condo. You know, like if you gotta go to the doctor's, you just pull your vehicle up to the front of the doctor's office and you're at home, guys. Simple as that. So that's the answer to that question. So if you've ever asked that question, now that's your answer. The van is gonna be way more convenient and a lot less stress on you if you're injured. I love the van for that. The last time I hurt my back, it was so inconvenient because it was such a large journey just to go somewhere and do something. It was a large journey just to go from my house to the car, let alone drive my car to somewhere I needed to go. <sighs> Van life's been beautiful for that. Okay, here's my story. I have some video clips of what happened, but last Tuesday morning, I woke up, got out of the van, I stretched, boom. My back grabbed, started to tense up. I hit the ground and when I was on my knees, I had to crawl back to my van. Crawl, hands and knees, right in the middle of a residential area. Thank goodness I'm an early riser and nobody's seen me. But yeah, crawled back to the van and when I got in the van, I could, wasn't moving. Like I had to pull myself into the van onto the floor. It was like, it was, a, it was a, probably the worst sight in the world. Anyway, I couldn't get up once I was in the van, so I put my head on Disco's water dish down there and we just relaxed for a little bit. And uh, I finally ended up making it to the grocery store later that day, um, sort of the pharmacy. And I couldn't even go into the pharmacy. Some sweet lady ended up going in and getting some back stuff for me. So I spent three days in the van using over-the-counter muscle relaxants and it didn't work. On day number four, I decided to adventure to the gym and nice and early hoping nobody would be there well there was people there to go, to go grab a shower because I was I felt like garbage four days no no shower it was bad so I get to the gym and I ended up like on my knees at the entrance of the gym I have video clips of that too um, so needless to say on the fourth day I went to the doctor and got a bag of party supplies cost me a hundred bucks for medication and I don't do pills pills mess me up up here like my head so foggy so dazed out right now and I hate that feeling I don't like the feeling of being unclear but the medication has got me up and moving like I'm at least kneeling upright I'm not quite 100% standing upright but enough movement that I did my laundry yesterday so that was freaking cool so um yeah guys think of your Think of your van in a moment of an injury. Think of your van and your house attached together. You have your home, you have your vehicle, boom, attached together, making everything so much more convenient. Less walking, less travel, less moving. Yeah, van life is more convenient if you're injured, obviously depending on your situation. But I couldn't walk. How worse can that get? If you can't walk, okay? If you're sick and puking in bed for a freaking two weeks straight, you still can walk, you're golden, you're good, who cares? But when you're rendered to the point that you're crippled, <laughs> like this guy's been, it's so convenient. And my windows are frosted. 
It is super freaking cold out this morning. All right. I slept in front of these townhouses in a super cute little area. Oh my gosh, the grass is totally, totally frosty. This is our first frosty morning. that defrost morning disco morning buddy hi it's chilly in here isn't it <laughs> it's cold in the van okay we're just gonna heat everything up and then we're gonna move up the street there's a Starbucks up here Get some quick morning work done before we start this day today. I normally don't do this, like get out of the van like this in a residential neighborhood, but I'll never be back. I'm only doing this because I want to show you guys where I parked. Wow. How beautiful of a morning is this? Amazing. I love this fresh, clean feel. You know, that first frost, that first icy cold morning, when things just feel, I don't know, fresh and clean. So, brand newly built, really nice apartment buildings and townhouses. I love these areas and I wouldn't be able to get away with this if my van was fully camperized like roof rack and all that stuff I mean you probably could at that point you only got to worry about one little disgruntled angry neighbor who's miserable with their life but other than that you can get away with parking pretty much anywhere I think you know you're in you're out I'm gone this morning people are just going to work right now that's the key guys and I think I hurt my back yesterday. My back is feeling a little bit on the stiff side. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I hurt my back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I hurt my back. Fuck. Well, that was a good start to a movie. I'm lying on the floor with my head on top of Disco's water bowl in front of the heater. And it's nice and warm, but I'm trying to get my back in front of the heater. But I can't turn around. It took me like probably about 45 minutes just to get to the spot that I'm in now so I can grab ibuprofen. I don't take pills. It's probably been well over a year since I've ever popped a single pill. So hopefully the handful of ibuprofens I took, okay, it wasn't a handful, kick in and I can get moving a little bit more easier. But I'm going to try and put my back against that heater. Oh my goodness. I made it to the front seat. <laughs> Lied in bed for, oh my god, I don't even know what I filmed. I lied on the floor for about an hour, then slowly as with my back towards the heater, ow, oh, that hurt. Back towards the heater, hope to get some heat on it. Loosened up, got into bed, watched about half a movie. I need to go get something for my back, like a proper muscle relaxant. As soon as I go to stand directly upright, my back just grabs. So I asked some sweet lady if she could go in and get me something for my back and I gave her my bank card. So thankfully I live in Canada and she's not gonna run off and steal all my money. I don't got any money, so she's gonna be out of luck if she does. Oh my goodness.
I feel like such a cripple. This is one of those things where you, where you, um, you take moving for granted. Oh, jeez. All right, come on, buddy. You gotta move over. Move over, bro. Oh. Trying to get into the van is not easy. Oh, oh my goodness. Here you go, bud. Oh my gosh, you're a freaking <laughs> lifesaver. Oh my god, look at him. Just go, no, don't talk to me. Him or her? Him. Aw, don't growl. You're a light. He's not. It's how he breathes. He's what? It's how he breathes. No, don't Oh, me. I have a Boston. Idea. It's kind of the same idea. It's, See, they grunt. It's a car for a YouTube channel. Oh, nice. <laughs> thank, oh, thanks. Thank you. This cool. is a, I, I hope it helps. I seriously got here. I'm like, okay, I'm going to walk in. I got this. Because You we, couldn't do it. We, um, we live in our van, so yeah. it's like, okay, I don't got to go far. I got to walk from here to there and come back. Yeah, yeah no, no. no. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Take care, honey. Thank you. Day number two of a sore back, and I made it to the front seat. I got up this morning and I felt pretty good, came up, turned the heat on, lit my other heater, and got the van nice and warm, went back to bed for about 20 minutes, got up, all the windows were defrosted, and it was warm, and I thought I was doing okay until I tried to get out of the van and stand up, and yeah, no. Because I, I, I unlocked this door and I was going to walk around the van and that it was not going to happen. But look what I'm missing out on. It's been two days of freaking beautiful, beautiful weather. But it's cold and frosty. Look at that. <laughs> super, super cold outside. Oh my goodness. I've been trapped in my van for... Ow! Ow! Three days now. Today's the beginning of day four. Oh. Oh, Jesus. And I can barely walk. Oh, standing upright is not an option. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, standing upright isn't happening. Oh. It's just the weight of that fuck, dude. I have a sore bad back. Yeah, I'm putting it here. Thank you, man. You okay? Oh, yeah, dude. Just the back? Yeah. I'm good, man. Thank you. back on my knees at the gym. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is not good. Okay, so we made it to the bathroom. It was me holding the weight of this in my hands that caused my back to spasm again and I hit the knee. <laughs> I hit the floor coming into the gym. Oh my goodness, so that gentleman brought my stuff to the bathroom for me because carrying this apparently is not an option. Ooh. I made it out of the gym standing. That's a bonus. I held my case closer to my body. Okay, what makes it worse? 
Moving. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> what about long postures? So the whole body yeah. side's tipped under, right? Okay, yeah. Well, it's, it, it, is, it is muscles and ligaments. The good news is not there's no broken bones or anything. It's, it, it is soft tissue injury. Yeah. So it's muscles and ligaments. Yeah, that's why I So let's give you the good stuff. Okay. So I'll give you anti-inflammatories. Okay. Heavy anti-inflammatories. Okay. Don't take Advil or Tal. Or Tylenol is fine, but yeah. no Advil, nothing. You're not going to gain any benefit. Okay. Uh, ice, no heat. Okay. Ice four times a day, 15 minutes each. Okay. That's it. Okay. And in two weeks, if you don't, if you're not 80 percent better, come back. Okay. On the plus side of everything, my blood pressure looks pretty good. <laughs> well, I'm walking. It's a miracle, it's a miracle. I think from being standing for so long, I'm doing okay. I'm still kind of cocked towards the side, but pretty good. Anyway, medication came to 98 bucks, but if it gets me standing, I really honestly don't care about it money right now at all i should have went the doctor route instead of trying to go over the counter prescription drugs and giving it a bit of time maybe those last handful of days i would have had progress instead of no progress at all <laughs> these things got pretty dusty there for a few days of not wearing them but they're back on and ooh, ever feel good something about putting the sunglasses on always makes every scenario feel just that much better uh, it does for me anyway i like my ray-bans these things are badass i have a big announcement about giving away a pair of ray-bans though that announcement's coming up very soon you got it somebody's gonna win a pair of these ray-bans courtesy of one of our subscribers that bought me these okay that's for another video and today I'm going to spend the whole day at home with Dr. Disco over there and we're going to relax and fingers crossed that maybe one dose of these pills is going to be what's going to rock my back, get me freaking up and moving and we can have a somewhat normal day tomorrow. I'm not expecting to run a marathon tomorrow, but I would love to be a little bit more mobile than I am today. So let's go fingers crossed to that one. Peace out you guys. Yeah, peace out.